Hey, PJ here. I'm doing another Bakugan video, and this is my Bakugan arena. So, I'm going to be telling you the rules about how to play Bakugan. I'm only going to go over the basics, because there's a lot of things that go along with Bakugan. Like, there's battle gear, battle suits, Bakunano, Bakugan traps, and other things to boost your Bakugan's G, power, and battle. But I'm not going to go over that stuff. I'm just going to go over the basics. Now, each player needs three Bakugan to play, three ability cards, and three gate cards. Gate cards, um, gate cards you set on the battlefield, and when open the gate cards, then they boost your Bakugan's G power, and ability cards are used later in battle after the gate card has been opened, and the battle, um, starts. So, first of all, um, each player sets down their own gate card, and, um, like so. There, the gate cards has been set, and now whoever goes first rolls their Bakugan onto the gate card and see which lands on it. Now, now important thing to know: uh, if you get if you land both of your Bakugan on one of the gate cards. then you automatically win that gate card. And important, an important thing to know how you actually win a Bakugan battle, uh, you have to win three gate cards, okay? Three gate cards, you win the whole battle. So, yeah, so if, uh, if like, say, um, um, these two Bakugan, um, I, I have one on a gate card, and then I throw another one, and then that's, like, they call a double stand, and then you automatically win that gate card. So let's start. I'm going to start by rolling this Chaos Bakugan, which is a Dragonoid, um, onto a gay card. Okay, when it when it when the roll fails, then your opponent gets to roll their Bakugan, and it keeps going on like that until one of you when when if when 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 until the players actually have. Each of their Bakugan on the same gate card. So I'm going to try to roll this one. That would be my opponent's Bakugan, a Ventus Bakugan, because it's Chaos versus Ventus in this battle. Okay, that's a fail. Fail, fail, fail. Let's try again. Okay, I oh, oh 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 okay okay okay, it's in its stand now now the my opponent would go no 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 uh, there we go okay okay let's let's just try keep trying this again. I can do this. You've got to be kidding me. Okay, let me try a different Bakugan. I'm going to try this Bakugan, which is also... Um, oh, this Bakugan is a Darak. I can tell... Um, because of the pattern it has when it's closed. So, let's try this again. Alright, alright, now the battle starts. Alright, now, the user of the gate card opens it, say, gate card open, and then we reveal what the gate card is. Okay, this is Window Portal. Yeah, see all these numbers here? It goes with the color that they are, like this is a Chaos Bakugan, so it earns 30 G power, and that's a Ventus Bakugan, so it earns 110, and, it, and we're also going by the, the G power on the Bakugan itself. This Bakugan has 800 Gs, so that means it, it has 830 Gs now. And this... Um, Bakugan has a 
seven hundred G's, and now it has. Wait, what's seven hundred plus? Um. Okay, I believe that's eight hundred and ten. So yeah, so the Dragonoid's G power is higher, but the owner of this Bakugan can use an ability card to boost its G power. So, um, uh, so, like, but only per turn, like per battle, you can only use one ability card, and then that ability card can go to like a discard pile, and you can't use this anymore after it's been activated. So, um, if I use this um, ability card, you give Darax G power up to 150 Gs, so 810 plus 150 equals. Ah, oh, math. Ah, oh. um, nine hundred and sixty, I think. Yeah, nine hundred and sixty, I believe. So that's higher than dr this Dragonoid's G power, but I, but, but I can use an ability card for it. So I'll use this one, G power increase. And it gives me, uh, it gives me 60 G's, so it already has 830, which means it will go up by, uh, let me think. Alright, I just um, divided it, the math on my calculator and it has 890 G's. So it c clearly the ability card didn't work because this Darak is stronger than this Dragonoid. So it looks like the Ventus side, the other side won. Yay! So yeah, and also, I guess in between turns, you can keep setting down gay cards. You don't only have to have two gay cards on the field. You, you can still, you know, mix it up a bit and set multiple gay cards down. You know, until you, like, run out and, and ha don't have any left. So, that's um, basically what this game is. But you can also use other things like um, battle suits, uh, metagons, uh, ba bakugan traps. And, like, for example, this... This Bakugan is compatible with a battle gear because not all Bakugan are compatible with battle gears or Baku nanos. But this one is um, compatible with compatible with a battle gear, so it can like boost its G power based on what the battle gear provides. So there's there's a lot more to Bakugan, but but the demonstration that I just showed you. It, you just keep doing that over and over again until one of you comes out a winner, and that's the basic rules of Bakugan. So hope you enjoyed it, because Bakugan was my favorite game, and it still kind of is. It's a fun game that that you can play with someone. So, so I uh, hope this, um, um, this helps with your Bakugan battle. So, bye!